God's word says narrow and straight is the way to heaven and few there be that find it. If you want to go to heaven, y'all, you're going to have to obey God. God's word says without holiness, no one shall see the Lord. Are you living holy? If you're not living holy, don't expect to see God when you die. Satan don't want you to live holy. Satan wants you to have sex outside of marriage. Commit adultery on your husband or your wife. Tell a lie every now and then. That's right. Satan wants you to get drunk, smoke some of that marijuana, take those painkillers. But if you want to get to heaven, y'all, you're going to have to obey God. God is holy. God's word says, without holiness, no one shall see the Lord. If you want to see the Lord when you die, you're going to have to live holy. That's right. Satan don't want you to live holy. Satan wants you to sin so you'll go to hell with him. But you know, God's word says a fornicator will not inherit the kingdom of God. That's sex outside of marriage. There's a lot of people in America today that say they love God while they're having sex outside of marriage. That's right. That's called a fornicator in your Bible. If you want to get to heaven, you're going to have to live holy, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. Your Bible says without holiness, no man shall see God. So if you want to see God one day, you're going to have to live holy. I didn't make the rules up. God's got rules just like you do. God's not stupid. He's actually very smart. You can't have God and have sin at the same time, ladies and gentlemen. Jesus said, narrow and straight is the way to heaven and few there be that find it. So if you want to get to heaven, you're going to have to obey Jesus. That's right. I didn't make up the rules. I didn't make them up. That's what God's Word says. That's right. God's Word says it's appointed unto man once to die, and after that, the judgment day. We're going to all die one day and stand before God. Are you ready to face God today? Are you living holy today, or do you love some sin? You can't love sin and love God at the same time. It don't work like that. That's right. God's Word says... The wages of sin is death, but the gift of God is eternal life. Jesus said, except a man be born again, he can in no way inherit the kingdom of God. You got to accept Jesus Christ as your Savior and turn from your sin if you want to get to heaven. You can't continue in sin. Going to church ain't going to get you to heaven. We got a lot of churchgoers in America today that ain't living holy. Your Bible says, without holiness, no one shall see God. Did you know Jesus said a hypocrite shall receive greater damnation? We got a lot of people in America today that say they love God and they love Jesus while they love sin. That's called a hypocrite in your Bible. Jesus said a hypocrite shall, shall receive greater damnation. Yep, a lot of y'all say, oh, we're going to sin every day. No, if you truly love God, you're not going to sin every day. Because if you love God, you're going to hate sin. You're going to be on guard against sin. That's what your Bible says. It says in the book of 1 John, He that is born of God does not commit sin because he guards himself from the wicked one. If you truly love God, you're not going to love sin. That's what love is. If you love God, you're going to hate sin. You're not going to have sex outside of marriage if you love God. Because God's word says a fornicator will not inherit the kingdom of God. I didn't make up the rules. God's got rules just like you got rules. So if you want to get to heaven, you're going to have to obey God's rules. Smoking that dope ain't going to get you there. Satan wants you to smoke dope, get drunk, lie a little bit. That's right. He wants you to whine and dine and be lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. Did you know in your Bible it says in the last days there'll be lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God? A lot of y'all love your pleasures more than you love God. You need to turn that television off and start reading your Bible a little bit more, a lot of y'all do. A lot of y'all don't even know much about your Bible, but you know all about your football team, your baseball team, about your wine. A lot of y'all know all about the wine and all the liquor, but more than you do God. That's a shame, it really is, y'all. If you want to get to heaven, you need to learn about God. You need to learn what pleases God if you want to get to heaven. How you doing today, ma'am? That's good. I pray. hope you're obeying God. If you want to get to heaven, you're going to have to obey God. It's common sense. You can't love sin and expect to inherit God's kingdom. It don't work like that, y'all. God's word says, without holiness, no one shall see the Lord. 
If you want to see God one day, you're going to have to live holy. God ain't like the Easter Bunny or Santa Claus. A lot of y'all are lying to yourself. If you love God, you're going to hate sin. You're not going to have sex outside of marriage if you love God. You're not going to commit adultery on your husband or wife if you love God. You're not going to lie on your taxes if you love God. No, you're going to be honest. You know, your Bible says a liar will not inherit the kingdom of God. A lot of y'all lying on your taxes. Yeah, a lot of y'all lying to, lying to your friend and your neighbor. But if you truly love God, you ain't going to lie. If you truly love God, you ain't going to steal or get drunk or commit adultery or fornication. Did you know your Bible says without holiness no man shall see God? If you ain't living holy, don't expect to go to heaven when you die. I'm just telling you the word of God, y'all. Y'all need to get into your Bible some more and read God's word. Study God's word. God's word says draw near to God and he'll draw near to you. Y'all come out here to St. Petersburg today to have fun. But you know, you can't always have fun when you're living for God. You know, God's word says he that loves his life in this life shall lose his life in the next life. That's in your Bible. God's word says in the last days there'll be lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God. I bet y'all, a lot of y'all out here today spent more time walking in St. Petersburg than you read your Bible in a month. I bet a lot of y'all ain't even read 10 chapters in your Bible in a month. But you'll come out here and wine and dine in St. Petersburg today. Y'all need to get into your Bible some more and seek God if you want to get to heaven. You need to live holy. Your Bible says without holiness no one shall see the Lord. That's what it says in your Bible. A lot of y'all say you love God and you probably couldn't quote 10 scriptures to me out here today. And you tell me you've been living for God for what, 10 years, 20 years? Yep, you better get in your Bible and read your Bible some more and turn that television off. You better quit whining and dining so much and start obeying God. God's word says to come out of the world and be separate, says the Lord. And I shall be a father to you and you shall be my sons. Do you love this world? This world's wicked. This world promotes homosexuality, transvestites. Yep, they, this world wants you to turn yourself into the other sex. That's right. This world wants you to smoke dope and get drunk. That's right. God don't want you to do that. God wants you to live holy so you'll go to heaven. Satan don't want you to live holy. He wants you to have sex outside of marriage. Take those painkillers. Smoke that dope. Get drunk. Drink that Budweiser. Drink that liquor. That's right. Satan don't want you to go to heaven. He wants you to go to hell with him. That's right. But God's holy, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to get to heaven, you're going to have to live holy. That's right. You're going to die one day. I'm going to die one day, believe it or not. We're going to all die one day, and we're going to stand before a holy God. God knows how you live. God knows how I live. Did you know Jesus said a hypocrite shall receive greater damnation? we got a lot of people in the church today that love sin, and they think going to church is going to get them to heaven. I'm sorry to tell you, but going to church ain't going to get you to heaven. Just to believe it in Jesus ain't going to get you to heaven. You got to obey Jesus. Did you know Jesus said, if you love me, you will keep my commandments? If you truly love God, you will obey God. That's right. If you truly love the Lord, you will obey him. You can't love sin and love God at the same time. It's not, it don't work like that. God's not stupid. God's very smart. God ain't going to come live inside of your soul if you want to flirt with sin. God is a jealous God. God hates sin. You can't have sex outside of marriage and expect to get to heaven. Did you know your Bible says a fornicator will not inherit the kingdom of God? That's sex outside of marriage. We got a lot of people shacking up in America today. They don't want to get married. I'm here to tell you, you better obey God. If you want to get to heaven, you better obey God. That little bit of sin in this life could cost you your soul in hell. Think about it. Jesus said, what shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world but loses his own soul in hell? Think about it, y'all. Think about it. What shall it profit a man if he gains the whole world and loses his own soul in hell? I don't know about you, but I don't want to lose my soul in hell. But I'm here to tell you, God's word says, without holiness, no one shall see the Lord. That's what it says in your Bible, y'all. Uh, you better read that Bible some more. Turn that television off. 
That television could lead you straight to hell. Did you know that television is an idol in America today? A lot of y'all spend too much time watching that TV. There's a lot of garbage on that television. You better pick your Bible up some more. That's right, pick up your Bible. God's word says draw near to God and he'll draw near to you. If you want God to draw near to you, you're gonna have to read your Bible and turn that television off. That's right, you're gonna have to stop whining and dining so much. Did you know your Bible says in the last days there'll be lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God? Boy, there's a lot of people out here in St. Petersburg today that they love their pleasures more than they love God. They love to go shopping. They love to go dining more than they love God. That's right. God's word says to come out of the world and be separate, says the Lord. And I shall be a father to you and you shall be my sons. If you want, if you want to inherit God's kingdom, you're going to have to draw near to God. God's word says without holiness, no man shall see God. If you want to see God one day, you're going to have to live holy. Don't be scared of that COVID virus, y'all. You don't need that mask on out here. Breathe some of God's fresh air out here. God's got you, Satan's got y'all scared of COVID, walking around out here with mask on your face. Don't be scared of COVID. Satan wants you to be scared of COVID. That's right. Satan wants you to live in fear. God don't want you to live in fear. Think about it. The media's got y'all brainwashed. That's right. Satan wants to control you. Let God control you. That's right. Most people don't want God to control them because God is holy. That's right. You know, Jesus said, narrow and straight is the way into the kingdom of heaven and few there be that find it. If you want to get to heaven, you're going to have to walk the narrow and straight path. That means no sex outside of marriage. That's called a fornicator in your Bible. Did you know your Bible says a fornicator will not inherit the kingdom of God? We got a lot of people shacking up in America today. They don't want to get married. Well, guess what? That might cost you your soul in hell. It could very well cost you your soul in hell because if you, if you shacking up and having sex outside of marriage, according to my Bible, you're going to hell. And I didn't make the rules, y'all. God made the rules. If you lying and... and uh, don't love God with all your heart and mind, you ain't gonna make it to heaven according to my Bible. God's word says without holiness, no man shall see God. If you ain't living holy, don't expect to see God. Think about it, y'all. God's word says without holiness, no one shall see God. No one. If you wanna see God, you're gonna have to live holy. Okay, you're gonna have to stop whining and dining so much and start getting more excited about God. That's right. You're going to have to live holy if you want to get to heaven. You're going to have to dress holy if you want to get to heaven. We got a lot of unholy women in America today walking around in their tight jeans and their, and their tights. You know, you, God's word says, present your body holy unto God. That's what it says in your Bible. If you want to get to heaven, you're going to have to live holy and dress holy. We got a bunch of unholy women in America today. I think it takes some of these women 10 minutes to get into their blue jeans in America today. I'm telling you, they got a un, lot of ungodly people in America today. But God's word says, Jesus said, the Son of God said, narrow and straight is the way to heaven, and few there be that find it. Nobody wants to go to hell, but most people don't want to live holy. That's right. But if you don't want to go to hell, you need to hate sin and love righteousness. Did you know your Bible says, in this the children of God are made manifest, and the children of the devil, whosoever does not righteousness is not a child of God? That's in your Bible. If you're not doing righteousness, don't expect to get to heaven. Ain't no good bourbon in heaven. Well, I don't want no bourbon myself. That bourbon will get you up and let you down. God's word says without holiness, no one shall see the Lord. God's word says a drunkard would not inherit the kingdom of God. God's word says an adulterer would not inherit the kingdom of God. God's word says a transgender or a homosexual would not inherit the kingdom of God. If you want to inherit the kingdom of God, you're going to have to obey God. It's pretty simple. God's word says narrow and straight is the way to heaven and few there be that find it. If you want to get to heaven, you're going to have to walk the narrow and straight path. Yeah, well, you say there ain't no fun doing that. Well, you know what? Good luck. 
because this life goes by real quick. It ain't all about having fun. It's all about obeying God so you can have fun in the kingdom of heaven. So I'm just sharing some good truth with y'all out here today. God's word says, without holiness, no one shall see the Lord. That's what it says in your Bible. I didn't make it up. I didn't make up the rules. I didn't make up the rules. God is holy, ladies and gentlemen. God's word says, without holiness, no one shall see the Lord. So if you want to see God one day, you're going to have to live holy. That's right. God's word says a fornicator will not inherit the kingdom of God. That's sex outside of marriage. I don't know about you, but I don't want to go to hell over a little sex. But there's a lot of people that's having sex outside of marriage in America today. Did you know it says in your Bible that a fornicator will not inherit the kingdom of God? Yes, it does. It says a liar will not inherit the kingdom of God. It says an adulterer will not inherit the kingdom of God. You can't commit adultery on your husband or wife and expect to inherit God's kingdom. You can't get drunk and expect to inherit God's kingdom. God's word says a drunkard will not inherit the kingdom of God. We got a bunch of people in America, they love their booze more than they love God. Hell yeah, brother. Yep, yep. Amen. We got a lot of foul mouth people. Yep. Satan's laughing at y'all. Yeah, Satan's laughing at you, man. Satan loves you. He wants your soul. Satan wants you to go to hell with him. That's what he does. God don't want you to go to hell. God wants you to live holy. But if you want to get to heaven, you're going to have to live holy. That's right. Jesus said, narrow and straight is the way to heaven. If you there be to find it. So if you want to get to heaven, you're going to have to obey God. God's word says, present your bodies holy unto God. We got a bunch of unholy women in America today walking around in their tights, walking around in their leggings. Look at all these women in America walking around in their leggings, wanting to show off their body. Did you know it says in Romans 12:1 to present your bodies holy unto God? That's what it says in your Bible. Present your bodies holy unto God. How you doing, sir? God bless you. I hope you're obeying the Lord and living holy. God's word says, without holiness, no man shall see God. If you want to get to heaven, you're going to have to live holy. If you want to go to hell, you can love your sin. That's right. If you want to go to hell, go ahead and sin a little bit. Satan don't mind. He wants you to. But God don't want you to sin. God wants you to live holy so you'll inherit his kingdom. But that sex outside of marriage will lead you straight to hell. Satan wants you to be a lesbian. He wants you to be a transvestite. So you'll go to hell. That's right. That's what Satan wants you to do. Satan wants you to get drunk, have that sex outside of marriage, lie a little bit. So you'll go straight to hell with him. God don't want you to go to hell. God wants you to live holy, ladies and gentlemen. That's right. But if you want to get to heaven, you're going to have to obey God. It, you can't have sin and have God at the same time. It don't work like that. It don't work like that, y'all. If you love God, you will hate sin. It's common sense if you think about it. But a lot of y'all tell me you love God while you love your sin. You're watching garbage on television. Yep. Y'all need to turn that TV off and read your Bible some more. If you want to inherit God's kingdom, you need to spend more time seeking God. God's word says, draw near to God and he'll draw near to you. A lot of y'all love pleasures more than you love God. You like to wine and dine more than you love God. Did you know it says in your Bible in the last days, there'll be lovers of pleasures more than lovers of God? That's what it says in your Bible. We got a lot of women that they love to shop more than they love God. They get more excited about shopping than they do God. I'm here to tell you that's America for you right there. We got a lot of women that like to watch the soap operas on TV, and God wouldn't watch no soap opera. Those soap operas will lead you right to hell. Y'all need to pick up your Bible some more. Turn that television off. That's right. God's word says, without holiness, no one shall see the Lord. Do you want to see God one day, ladies and gentlemen? If you do, you're going to have to live holy, according to my Bible. God's word says, without holiness, no one shall see God. Think about that. No one shall see God without holiness. Don't expect to go to heaven if you ain't living holy, fellas. It ain't going to work like that. 
I don't know how you're living. I just said don't expect to go to heaven if you ain't living holy. That's all I said. God bless you, man. I hope you're living holy. Don't expect to get to heaven if you ain't living holy. Going to church ain't going to get you to heaven. There's a lot of church goers going to bust tail wide open in America today. There's a lot of churches in America today with full of hypocrites. You know Jesus said a hypocrite shall receive greater damnation. I hadn't read in my Bible where going to church is a commandment. But, uh, but not having sex outside of marriage is a commandment. Not committing adultery, that's a commandment. So if you want to get to heaven, you're going to have to live holy. You're going to have to lay that sin down if you want to get to heaven. You can't have sin and have God at the same time. You can't do it. God ain't stupid. God ain't like the Easter Bunny or like Santa Claus. A lot of y'all think God's like Santa Claus. You can have him and have your sin. You can't have God and have sin at the same time. I'm sorry, y'all, it don't work like that. God is holy. God's Word says, Without holiness no one shall see the Lord. If You know, God's Word says it's appointed unto man once to die, and after that, the judgment day. We're going to all die one day, believe it or not. And we're going to stand before a holy God. Are you living holy? Are you ready to stand before God if you died right now? Do you love God more than you love your television or your wife or your husband? Do you love God more than you love your stuff? Do you love God more than you love your money? Yep, I'm just asking y'all a good question today. If you love God, you'll hate sin. To love God is to hate sin. If you enjoy sin, then you don't love God. It's real simple. That's right. God's Word says that our holiness, no one shall see the Lord. If you want to see God one day, you're going to have to live holy. That's what it says in your Bible. You need to read your Bible some more. Turn that television off and, and read your Bible some more. If you want to find God, obey God. Seek God. You come out here to St. Petersburg today to have fun. Well, you had to, you had to spend time to get out here. Well, if you spend time seeking God, you might find God. That's right. The Lord says, you shall find me when you search for me with all your heart. You ain't going to find God unless you give him everything. If you want to find God, you got to give him all that sin and lay it all down. You can't have God and have sin at the same time. God ain't stupid. God's real smart. God is holy. God's word says, without holiness, no one shall see the Lord. If you want to see God one day, you're going to have to live holy. I didn't make up the rules, y'all. It's in your Bible. Read your Bible some more. Turn that television off and read your Bible some more. I encourage you to do that. That TV is going to lead a lot of people to hell in America today. Yeah, a lot of idols in America today. Football, sports. A lot of people, they love their whining and dining more than they love God. They love, they, love, they love marijuana today more than they love God in America. I used to love it. It 